All right. Good morning, everybody. Um, decided to make another video. This is <laughs> this isn't a reaction to Archie's show last night and the one dude who came on the show from New York and the the uh, the grinder Archie put him through, which I thought was kind of unfair. I mean, he lambasted the guy. I mean, the guy was pretty calm. You know, for a New Yorker, too. The guy sat here and kind of took it. I guess he just wanted to be on the show, or I don't know. But, and he was he, he was going hard at dude. I'm like, damn. Like, do y'all know each other from somewhere? But, so, that kind of brings me to the, what I wanted to talk about was, do you, I mean, do you really have a liking for the Rolexes that you buy? I mean, do you really like the way they look? You know, like me personally, and, I, and I'm going to go off on a couple tangents here, but me personally, I like the Submariner, but I didn't want one. I didn't want to buy one. Um, I mean, as my first Rolex watch, I only have one. As my first Rolex watch, I went around and around of which one I really wanted, which one I really like. And believe it or not, um, I went from Explorer Two, I really wanted when I when I first started getting back into Rolexes, I really wanted that Explorer Two Polar. That's what I really wanted, like super bad. And this was like in 2016. I lived in Chicago for a couple of years, so I used to go to this Rolex dealership at a Woodfield Mall. I used to go there damn near every weekend and kind of look in the window. I go in there maybe once a month and talk to the guy. But that I really wanted. And this is back when they had everything in stock. They had everything in the store. And he was always, the guy, he's always said, you better, you got to buy these now because things aren't going to be like, I, I guess he knew. He's like, if you want one of these, you got to get one of these now. And I almost did. And that's another story. But you know, my taste kind of changed a little bit. So leading up to now or 2000, when did I get that? 2020, I think I bought that, 19, I'm not sure. But it ended up being, my taste changed that I wanted a day just. You know, 41. I wanted a white dial, but I got the black dial. That's what he got in. It took like three months to get it. He got the, he called me, said, I got a black dial, um, oyster. He's like, do you want it? I thought about it for like maybe 21 seconds. Like, mm, it's not a white dial. Yeah, I, I will be there at lunch. <laughs> All right. So I went and got it. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and I love it. It's great. I love the, the black dial. You know, couldn't even imagine not having that one. Then as a second watch, I went around and around again. Like, what do I want for a second one that I haven't yet to buy yet? But I put a request in. At first, I wanted the um, Datejust with the diamonds, you know, with the diamonds, the Jubilee, you know, the two-tone. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I, I kind of backed off on that because I didn't want to get two Datejust. But back when I was in my maybe 20s, maybe early 30s, this is but not and even back then I like Rolex but Rolexes but that was kind of out of my um actually it wasn't but you know you just kind of think well I'm not gonna buy one now I can wait and do other things with my money my life was just starting to get going so you're doing other things with your money so I I got my hands on a two tone Invicta like with the blue dial you know <laughs> like the bluesy oh man I love that watch it, I mean I used to be wearing this watch like. And people like, man, what kind of watch is that? What kind of watch is that? Like, I thought I was the shit with that watch. It only cost like 130 bucks. It was a nice ass watch too. Um, it only lasted like a year. Then I bought it, and for some reason I couldn't get it fixed. I forgot. Then it broke and never worked again. So I went and got another one. I paid for another one. Ordered on the internet, got that. That one lasted like seven months. I'm like, you know what? Like this. Then, then um, I kind of lost interest in all that for a little while. I was doing other things, you know how life is kind of rolling on, but I've always, I've always liked Rolexes ever since, hell, since I was like a teenager, you know, I can remember when I used to intern in Miami, um, and I used to go to pawn shops on the weekends, and um, I don't know why I was doing this, but buy like tools and stuff, I was in college too, and buy tools, and I would sell them like, when I got back to, to, to uh, school, Tallahassee, I would sell this stuff. I don't know why I was doing that. Some some of the stuff I would keep. I was just buying stuff. It was weird. But 
But some of these pawn shops had Rolexes. And for some reason, I assumed they were fake. But, you know, they would say these are real. So I would I would look at them like, man, that's not, I'm going to get one of those. And that's, that's, that's a beautiful, you know. And this is the 90s. This is back in the 90s, like when, you know, things were a little, you know, this was when, and it was in Miami too. This is like everybody had a little bit of money. It was, drugs was a plenty. So it was not uncommon to see people with Rolexes and nice watches and nice things back then, you know. So fast forward, um, I was in Chicago. I was shot. I was. I was in a position to buy a Rolex. This is about 17, 16, it was actually 16. So at the same time, I was looking at the Rolexes at the at the mall and all that stuff. And my plan was I was gonna I was gonna buy a Rolex on the gray market. I'm not sure. I think I was gonna buy that. I used to go around down to Wabash and all that and look at all them different watches and all that. But I was gonna buy one on the internet, I think. I can't remember now. And because I was gonna I was gonna finance it. You know, which is not the smartest idea, not the best thing to do. And I was going to buy a car, too, because my, my finances were were together at that time. My wife told me, and she knew I wanted a Lexus, but I was like, you know, I'm going to back off on a Lexus. I'm going to buy a Toyota Camry, you know, and then I'm going to buy a watch, too. I'm going to figure out a way to get my hands on a watch. I'm going to finance it some sort of way, you know. Then um, she's like, just get the Lexus. Just get the Lexus. Get the Rolex later. Get the Lexus. Now, you want it, you get it. Yeah, so I bought the Lexus. I got my hands on an ES350. Beautiful car. No less than three years later, some dude hit me. Landscaper, he hit me. So that car is gone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I didn't replace it. Uh, I, I bought something. I bought a Cadillac, actually, like a used Cadillac. For a lot cheaper, a lot less payments. That that dude, that after that, man, the, 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 the desire to pay payments on a car, especially high payments, you know, it, it, just, it just went away. You know, it's... I'm paying high payments on a car or something. It got to be like a G-body, mid-80s classic or something. You know, Super Sport, Monte Carlo, Grand National, something. You know, I'm not riding around in a new car unless a business is paying for it. And I'm not in business for myself right now. I got a job. So, once again, 2017 rolling around. I moved back to Ohio. I got this job with this company. They give out bonuses. I got this bonus. I had the cash to go and walk into the store. This time now, these Rolexes are in the store to buy what I wanted. At the time, I was actually thinking about buying a Submariner at that time. You know, I'm going to get me a Submariner. I had, the, I had the money. I did not buy it because um, there were some other things I needed to take care of, uh, respons- responsible things, which which it could have waited. I should have bought the Rolex instead, hindsight being 2020. I could have flipped it, maybe. I don't know. I could have flipped it, right? I just wanted to, at that time, I figured I'd just get a submarine. I don't know why, I, you know. But, um, so, I didn't buy it. So, fast forward another year, that's when I bought I was like, I'm buying it now, you know. I got to do it now, you know, because I'm getting older. And, and that and that year, that that year I bought that Rolex months prior to that would kind of help my decision is, like, my friends started dying. People just dropping dead. Folks just dropping dead. My best friend died that year. He he was. I talked to him six something that morning. He's talking about we gonna have a little get together tonight at his house. You coming over? I'm like hell yeah. I'll be there. His wife calls me at eleven. Like dude has a heart attack. He's in the emergency room right now. He never regained consciousness and he was dead a week later. So that's when I started rethinking things. I had another good friend of mine die for a few months before that. So I'm like let me let me rethink. My priority. He's not saying the Rolex is a priority, but you know, and I, and my friend was pretty healthy from what I thought. I mean, maybe if something else happened. This is right before COVID too, so I'm thinking some other things might have been taking place. But um, but yeah, I, I like I like the date. Just so I like these hype pieces. Do you like Do you like these Pepsi's? Like deep down inside, like I don't really want a Pepsi. I don't have a general liking for it. If I if, if I if I just had some money, I was just out buying shit. I probably still wouldn't buy. I'd probably move up to a Patek or something. I don't know, but but I like the Batman. That's a cool looking watch. But I'm not. After I bought the Datejust, I kind of was like, you know what? I want some gold. That's why my next watch I finally settled on. I want the bluesy. You know, the two tone sub with the the blue dial. You know. Now I've seen the the black dial sub out and about in public. Here and there, and it looks pretty cool. It's a nice looking watch, very subtle. 
I seen a guy at um at a, at a sushi place in Ohio. Oh, this dude was old too. He had a root beer. It looked pretty nice. It was very subtle, but it was kind of blinging though. It was blinging a little bit. You you know, I, I, that's what I look. Like, that old dude got a root beer. It's blinging too. <laughs> so they say that bluesy bling. But I, I don't care. You know, I don't care because I'm gonna still wear the date just for the majority of the time. But um, so like that. That's my question to you. Like, you know, like my the AD I deal with. He's actually offered me, I didn't have the money at the time, but he actually told me he can give me a sub date. Now I'm kind of rethinking that, like, well, maybe I should try that for next year. You know, maybe I should get a sub date just to have one. But it's going out buying Pepsis and Hawks and all. I don't want a Hawk. I've seen that in real life. It's a cool looking watch. I've seen one. It's cool. You know, um, the Submariner looks very nice, though. It does look very nice. It's a, it's, it's a good staple watch to have. So I still think Archie was hard on the dude. Um, I don't know. Then I seen the dude later in Tim. I think that's the same dude. He was in Tim's video. How the hell? I, I don't understand New York. I guess certain parts of New York are, uh, uh, as of any city, are has low elevation. Because Tim's out partying, drinking, and kicking it, doing his thing. I'm looking at videos on TikTok, and his building's being flooded. <laughs> like, how's he, how's he doing this? Those, those, he's with the same guy that was on RG Street. Like, what's going on here? You know? <laughs> No wonder Archie's annoyed with the guy. <laughs> I would be too, you know? <laughs> all right, so that's all I got. Um, I'm going to start having a little bit of merchandise pretty soon because I don't have any any followers hard. I only have a, what, 200 or something. So I might start selling T-shirts here and there. Um, uh, what else? That's it. All right, I got to get to work.